Hello everybody. So today for a context step tutorial, I've decided I'm going to teach you guys how to do halos. So a halo looks like this. Okay, so a halo is, it looks, looks scary and hard to people who have never done it before, but once you get it down, it's actually pretty easy. So what you want to do is first you want to enter in like you're about to do a fishtail. So how you enter in, in in a fishtail type way is you flick it over onto the wrist. So you hold it first on the middle part of your staff and you want to make sure that your thumb is is the top is on the top of the staff. You're gonna flip it over onto the wrist and you're gonna catch it for a brief second like this. So you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna catch it for a brief second. The moment you flip it over onto your wrist, that's when you bring the wrist upwards and you, you go ahead and you push the step over your shoulder and you let it come down into over your elbow and then you go ahead and you catch it with the other wrist and flip it over until you catch it with your hand. So again, you flip it, bring it over your shoulder. It's going to flip over to the other shoulder. It's going to then, you're going to go ahead and feel it with your elbow, the other elbow. It's going to go down into the wrist and then you're going to catch it again. Okay, so real quickly, if you do it right, it looks like this. So again, breaking it down one more time so you guys can get it. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna make sure that the top thumb is on top of the staff. You're gonna flip it on top of the wrist. It's gonna go ahead, you're going to bring it over that shoulder. It's gonna to go to the other shoulder and you're gonna go ahead once it gets to this forearm, the other forearm, you're going to push it outwards and you're going to catch it. So you want to make sure that there are points of contact that you want to feel it, okay? This other, when it gets to the other forearm, you're going to gently push it over. That way the staff will go around that wrist and you'll catch it, okay? So again, over that wrist, hoist it over the back. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to push it upwards over that first shoulder. It's gonna do its own flip. It's gonna go around the other shoulder and you're gonna go ahead, bring that elbow in, catch it a little bit with this wrist and forearm, push it over it's gonna go around the hand and you'll catch it again. Okay, so again, just like this. So with these kinds of moves, it really helps to breathe into it. So right before you go into the move, you're gonna take a big inhale and just breathe right through it, okay? You wanna flow with the step. Again, this. For people who have never done this before, it does look hard and challenging and kind of like gravity defying. Like how are you making your staff do flips on your back? But once you get it down, it is like second nature. It's like one of the easiest moves that you'll get. So take your time with it. Make sure to practice both sides. Um, just for a little, just a little reference, you know, if, if you're new to this, I would say Practice this like 20 minutes a day for like five days straight. See where it takes you, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you would like to ask me any questions, go ahead, please comment. I'm free and open for any questions or any advice that you guys need. And also, again, I am a movement coach. I am also a personal trainer. I not only train athletes and old people and normal people, but I really do train flow artists too. I'm a flow artist myself, and if you have any questions and you'd like to enhance your movement arts, just go ahead and hit me up and let's set something up.